Okay, Purajit, <coughs> let's proceed ahead for uh, DRDO and uh, you are going for DRDO interview. So let's uh, start with your brief introduction, Purajit. Yes, sir. Good evening. Uh, my name is Vipraject Paul. Uh, I am a resident of West Bengal, a small town Pandel, from where I have uh, went through the through my schooling, as well as uh, my B.Tech in mechanical engineering, securing CGP of nine point six four five. After that, through campus placement, I was placed in Larsen Turbo Company. Uh, from 2019 till now i am still working uh, in lnt and uh, and now i am aspiring to join uh, the most esteemed organization research organization of defense which is drdo when did you graduate vibrojit 2019 sir to piche 4 saal se kya kar rahe hain aap sir main lnt mein hu 2 saal kaam kiya hu uske baad lnt hi mujhe sponsor uh, mtech करवा रही है आईआईटी दिल्ली से एलएनटी में कहां पोस्टेड हैं आप सर आई वाज पोस्टेड इन दुर्गापुर इन वेस्ट बंगाल तो आपका तो बॉन्ड भी होगा एलएनटी के साथ राइट सर मेरा है 4 लाख का बॉन्ड है सर तो क्या करेंगे उस बॉन्ड का सर वो बॉन्ड में पेबैक कर दूंगा बिकॉज़ आई डू थिंक एथिकली इट इज करेक्ट दैट आपको उन्होंने एमटेक करवाया है और आप फिर छोड़ रहे I have got the eight out of eight rating, uh, which is the best. And uh, in my college days over here in IIT also, I have been securing above nine CGPA in my three semesters. And this is the fourth. So this M Tech, they are not giving you salary during M Tech. No sir. So why why that is so? So why you chose to do M Tech without salary? Sir, first of all, because after this only I will get a promotion in L N T whenever I join at the first stage itself. Mm-hmm. so also this mtech will provide me additional upper age towards other employees and give me a better knowledge about what i am going to do in lnt hmm kis cheez mein karwa rahe hain aapko mtech sir construction technology construction technology so as a mechanical engineer how that is relevant for you sir as a mechanical engineer in construction technology also uh, there are roles uh, of uh, uh dealing with different processes uh in my project there was uh, laying of pipeline di pipelines which will carry water from the pump house to the water treatment plant and further distribute it distribute it to the overhead tanks this was basically my project so uh, as a mechanical engineer i am uh, looking after the planning parts in there in the project i am looking out the entire planning processes that is uh, undergone in the project part mm. okay so now what will be the benefit of this mtech if you join drdo sir in mtech i have uh, during this course it was basically a mtech on the construction part but i have taken additional courses uh, which will help me in uh, my further research uh, which which i have taken in welding science i have done i have taken a course also in forming also i took a course during doing this mtech in also in hvac so these courses will help me and give me a better understanding as well as uh, i am also i am also done the contract management and also uh, uh, statistical numerical techniques of optimization in this course that will also be helpful जब ये बताओ विक्रोजी तो आप डीआरडी क्यों ज्वाइन करना चाहते हैं सर बिकॉज आई ऑलवेज वांटेड टू डू टेक्निकल जॉब्स व्हिच इज मोर ओरिएंटेड टुवर्ड्स मैकेनिकल साइड एंड इन डीआरडीओ इट इज द बेस्ट प्लेटफार्म टू यूटिलाइज माय टेक्निकल टेक्निकल नॉलेज एंड अप्लाई इट इन एंड द सर्विंग द नेशन सेकंडली दिस वुड बी द बेस्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर मी टू सर्व my country and the 
most uh, means powerful sector which is protecting our country from any dangers which is defense but even you can working in lnt also you can serve your country you know whenever right, you are doing something you are serving your country only but that is for private purpose means lnt is uh, serving it for their own growth and own profit that is also good uh, it is also sort of providing water supply to different areas which are uh, village areas but def- uh, working in defense sector i would also apply my technical knowledge directly uh, and do researches in these areas and uh, Uh, serve the our defense uh, by using my mechanical knowledge okay now viprojit uh, tell me uh, drdo has many labs yes sir and many research domains which domain would you like to work sir i uh, would prefer to go for the missile lab the uh, which is set up by dr apj abdul kalam so uh, uh, The so there is no portion. single lab which he established. Missile lab, कुछ नहीं. Missiles तो बनती हैं सब जगह. But he started the making of missiles, and uh, uh, I also would like to join that particular labs which are made for, uh, which are more focused toward missiles. Okay, so आप विप्रोजित आपका बीटेक प्रोजेक्ट क्या है? Sir, मेरा बीटेक प्रोजेक्ट है. Uh, uh, to optimize the helical op- helical compression spring uh, f- during his performance in a particular car uh, which was which we studied is a tata uh, one of the tata uh, company car we selected and uh, performed optimization of that actually to study the spring which we used selected for that purpose What was new in that? Sir, new means uh, they uh, they took four kinds of materials or uh, sp- of spring. So we uh, studied the uh, de- behavior of the spring uh, at different at the same load conditions. So we gave the final result of that which which one is more useful and economical. Mm. Okay. Uh, where did you do your internship? Sir, I did my internship in Durgapur Steel Plants in Durgapur itself, and that was an intern of internship of uh, two weeks. Mm-hmm. After that, I did a summer intern of uh, around one month in a locomotive uh, uh, sector public sector public sector company, which is Chitranjan Locomotive Works mm-hmm. in West Bengal itself. What did you learn in that? Sir, which one, sir? What did you learn in that uh, training, sir? In locomotive uh, sector, which I went, we I observed uh, the different manufacturing uh, components of a locomotive, how they assembled together, how they uh, joined all the components, and uh, uh, set set up a complete entire bogey of the locomotive, mm-hmm. and how the engine uh, components worked, what were the different parts. in dsp i uh, learned about the different steps uh, which the uh, which are involved in making of a steel from a iron ore so from scrap to the final steel product which are like tmt rods then wheels i have observed every step in that in that uh, training program mm-hmm. okay no bibrojit let me give you the feedback bibrojit uh, your lnt you are doing uh, mtech through lnt and now you are joining drdo that question might come if you introduce and you tell you are working in uh, nnt <coughs> they certainly might ask you questions that why you want to leave it now so be mentally prepared for this question okay sir and uh, answer was not very appropriate that why you want to leave it you should show your passion for research mm-hmm. not serving the nation and all you can serve a nation as a farmer also so you Thanks. need to tell that sir i have keen interest in research r and d which you did not say That means the most important thing you missed. D R D में क्यों आना है? सर मेरे को research में interest है इसलिए मेरे को देश की सेवा करनी है सर. तो देश की सेवा तो civil service में भी कर सकते हो. Army join कर लो. उसमें ये पूछेगा कि तुम कुछ किया है? मैं तो मतलब मैं कुछ किया नहीं हूँ सर research work. तो ठीक है नहीं interest तो हो सकता है चाहे ना किया हो. Interest तो होना चाहिए. नहीं किया तो फिर क्यों लेगा तुम्हें 
इस चीज इस वजह से तो नहीं लेगा जो तुम बोल रहे थे दैट वाज लुकिंग फेक देखो अगर मैं पता लगा सकता हूं तो वो तो सीनियर है ही यार वो तो पता लगा लेंगे ना सर मैंने एलएनटी में जॉब करके देखा कंस्ट्रक्शन मैनेजमेंट में जॉब कर रहा हूं बट फॉर द लास्ट नो 2 इयर्स आई एम आस्किंग माय सेल्फ कि इज दिस द प्लेस फॉर मी बट आई बिलीव दैट आई कैन डू फार बेटर इफ आई एम इन आरएनडी सर मैकेनिकल कोर मैकेनिकल डोमेन दो आई एम वर्किंग इन एलएनटी बट दिस इज लार्जली द एंबिट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियर्स I want to shift over to DRDO where I get opportunity to work in areas where mechanical engineers do, and uh, we get opportunity to do some research, uh, research R and D. I have inclination for that. पता ना पड़ेगा उसको interest, तभी वो justify होगा, otherwise नहीं होगा.